Hello guys and welcome. Nasip, I'm back here with Frost. Hey guys. So we've been playing Tribes of Midgard for... What's it now, a week? Yeah, it's plus minus a week. And yeah, we did put in easily 30 hours, 40 hours in it now. Mm, and is it worth buying? That's the opinion that we'll discuss today. Well, in small words for me, it's for now, yes. yes. So the game comes in two versions that you can buy. First you have the normal version, the normal edition, that's like uh, 20 euros. How much rent was that? Uh, I think, think like 300 bucks or something. Yeah. It's cheap. I mean, half price of a normal game. Or no, even, even a third, a third of the least. price. And then you can buy like a special edition. Uh, you get some cosmetic items and um, a pet. Is it worth it? In my opinion, no. The extra 10 bucks is, is not worth it, but you can look at it as a help for the creators of the game that they make some extra bucks on it because they did bring out an awesome game for the price it, it costs. Um, for the rest, what's the game about? It's a survival game? Well, survival, yeah, not a really a survival build game, more survival because everything is already pre built. Yeah, Same you can just rebuild some stuff that's already in the game that you have to like fix. Um, and then you have like, uh, what is the mission of the game? Well, you have the survival game that's called survival mode. It's just stay alive as, as long as it as you can. You will have like so, uh, the the days will go by, and you just have to try and reach the highest you can. And there is even achievement reach day 100. So at least you can reach 100 days, but that will be massively difficult. And then you have the saga mode, different to the survival mode. Here you have an end boss, that's like season bound. For now it's the the wolf Fenrir that you will defeat. Loki's son. Yeah, and um, well after 30 hours you haven't even seen him yet because you need to do some missions to be able to unlock him. So we're still trying to do that. Um, the longevity of this game in my opinion will be with the updates that the game will bring. Yeah, I have to agree, because currently if you take the Saga mode, if you first crack the how to survive 16 days on this... Yeah, because um, in Saga mode, after... around 16 days, the Eternal Winter will start, and basically you're screwed at that point. You can maybe survive one, two, three nights then, but you will you will die eventually, because the whole thing just keeps yeah. spawning and you will die. So that's basically going to be a useless thing. Well, not useless. It's fun for now. And like you said, with the updates, that's something that can be, well, that should be um, better. At least yeah. with updates. And if not even better, just like bringing in new bosses, new stuff. Because the, the run to, to 16 days is, what, about uh, two hours? Two and a half hours? Yeah, two hours, two and a half hours. And I mean, that's a constant thing. doesn't matter how you play your style. That's consistently with the game's internal clock. So... Yeah, it takes time. But the difficulty the on the survival is, is easier. Eh? Yeah, after the update. But then I'm wondering now as well with... Um, I mean, we're used to Saga now. And we really haven't really touched the survival mode. Uh, well, I did also get the, well, I, I did start it. I did two or three days. Because even there you can choose the dif difficulty. If you want Toyota to be easier, you want to have more resources... That's just basically to keep oh. the, ga the game running. But that can go indefinitely. Oh. And the Yotams, they also spawn. Um, yeah, they also spawn. Days. Yeah, that's all that is the same. Just the big thing that's changed is that you can change the difficulty. Because you can basically go massive easy on yourself. Yeah, but uh, you, will get is... less, you will get less XP. Um, for your um, like your season pass yeah. that you have, and this also runs like um, I want to say like the souls games. In the principle, everything you collect, you get souls, and then the souls is used as your currency, in-game currency. And unfortunately, if you die, you can go back to um, find your corp. Uh, well, what your remaining, your other items you um, mined and crafted, whatever the case may be. But unfortunately, your souls are lost. Yep, that you so it's, it's not like Souls, at, at, at least in Souls you can get it back. <laughs> yeah, you can pick it up at least for, well, once, otherwise you, um, you're you stuck. Well, here's none, so... Yeah, but besides that, worth getting it, in my opinion, definitely. Oh, yeah, 
price and, and time you will spend on the game, totally buy it. The more people buy it, certainly they will bring out more updates for the game. So for me, it's a 9 out of 10, this game. It's really good. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. And you will get frustrated sometimes, though. But not with bugs. Oh, yeah. Like what I'm doing now, I'm going to get screwed over. Of course, we have to get back and travel. But yeah, so no, if you cause... have the money, definitely go out and buy it or try it, at least. See, um, this is a bug in the game. Look, it, it looks like an indie game, but I mean, it's fun. And you're knocked and I can't pick you up. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, because I, I was stuck between stuff and... Oh, never mind. So that's how you lose 2,000 souls in the beginning of the game and screw the rest of the game over. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't already. Okay, bye guys. Bye.